No grouper no more? Man, I don't want to hear that. Everything around us is always changing. Some of the changes are positive. Others are negative. Our focus this time is on the Nassau grouper and how what we do affects its future. No grouper, no more. Humans, more than anything else in our ecosystem, bring about the greatest impact on the Nassau grouper. We as Bahamians, despite our love for this fish named for our capital city, affect this species negatively in two ways. One is overfishing, two is alteration or destruction of its habitat. No grouper, no more. We all know that the Nassau grouper is a favorite when it comes to dining, at home, at the fish fry, or at some expensive restaurant. With such a high demand for this cherished delicacy, the possibility of overfishing becomes more and more real each day. There are specific regulations put in place to preserve our enjoyment of the Nassau grouper. There are minimum size and weight requirements that should be strictly adhered to. There are also regulated seasons when catching the Nassau grouper is legally allowed. However, failure to comply with these regulations would create serious problems for the future of this fish in the Bahamas. Did you know that the Nassau grouper was placed on the World Conservation Union's Red List of Threatened Species in 1996. With its decline by 60% over the last 30 years, this grouper has also been assessed as endangered regionally. In fact, the Nassau grouper is virtually extinct in places like Bermuda, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, and Florida, where they once flourished. We in the Bahamas definitely don't want to join that list where overfishing has taken its toll. No grouper, no more? Hmm. What about our relationship to the habitats of the Nassau grouper? Primarily, the juveniles inhabit the mangrove creeks and estuaries, while the adult groupers can be found around our coral reefs. Bahamians have historically destroyed or altered the creeks and wetlands, greatly curtailing much of the early stages in the development of the grouper. Additionally, by allowing the proliferation of invasive species, both flora and fauna, in these areas, the life cycle of the Nassau grouper is further jeopardized. Similarly, the destruction of reefs by chemical and other pollutions as well as any number of intrusive impacts put the future of this fish in grave danger. No grouper, no more. We love groupers and we must do all we can to make sure that they stay around in respectable numbers. It is estimated that the Nassau grouper contributes $1.5 million to the Bahamian economy annually. Our conservation efforts must be sustained in earnest. We must positively impact their future. More protected areas like the Exoma Keys Land and Sea Park must be established. By helping the Nassau grouper to survive, we help ourselves. Man, protect the Nassau grouper. <laughs>